The Football Manager 2019 beta is here, everybody. I'm Joe, if you're new around here, or Captain Goodspeed, and it's time to roll the intro. Hey guys and welcome to Football Manager 2019 and part 1 of Local Hero, my FM19 beta save with Newcastle United and in today's episode we'll be playing the first match of the season against Burnley once we get to that. I have disabled uh, first window transfer activity because I, I, I kind of want to just uh, have a play with, around with the the actual squads for FM19. So until January, we won't be making any signings. Um, we will have a little look at the tactics and the training and stuff as we go through. Um, we have got uh, inductions and stuff. I'm going to skip them and just do them as and when I need to. But there is training to do as well. Obviously, a lot of new features for FM19 and we'll be looking at them throughout the series but in today's episode we're just going to get a, a feel for the squad and uh, and a feel for um, the sort of match engine. I think those are, the, are probably the most important parts of the series uh, in part one at least and, and throughout we'll look at transfers and tactics. So make sure you do click that subscribe button for daily FM19 content. There'll be two videos a day over the beta period. Uh, one at four which will be the journeyman and and one at 8pm, which will be this series, uh, the Newcastle United local hero. So, uh, here we go then. Here is uh, the Newcastle squad. We'll put it on uh, assistant reports. Uh, so, we'll sort it by best. And we'll have a look at some of the, the best uh, players for Newcastle. So, Fabian Shaw, 26-year-old Swiss player. I'm loving the purple, actually. I, w I wasn't so sure when I seen it in uh, preview videos. But... Uh, no, uh, I think it's great. Three million signing from uh, Corona in uh, Spain. And uh, also, I will have the, the, the official badges for episode two of this series. Uh, I haven't got time, ha haven't had time putting them in just yet. Uh, Ki Sung Young in there as well. Florian uh, Leoin, um, Dubravka, uh, Muto, Kieran Clark, uh, Lascelles. As well, uh, who's the captain? I believe John Joe Shelby, Kennedy, uh, Fernandez, Mohamed Diame. He obviously uh, used to play for Hull and West Ham Wigan. He's got a lot of Premier League experience, and, and we're going to be relying on him quite a lot this year. Matt Ritchie is also a very good player, good leader in the dressing room, according to uh, his style there. Uh, Newcastle also have a couple of uh, players with with some decent potential. Um, you've got Sean Longstaff, who looks pretty good in the midfield, box to box midfield. I'm sure I'll will use him quite a lot this year. Uh, Yedlin's uh, got a bit of room to improve as well, and and this guy here, Rolando Aaron's very good player. He's out on loan this season, but hopefully throughout the save, um, we can we can uh, turn him into a a good player. But uh, We'll see if there's any any good guys down in the the reserves. Rob Elliott, I guess, is is probably the only one that you you're looking at. Uh, and under 18s wise, there's a couple of players, but not too many. So we will look uh, to try and uh, develop some youth players throughout the course of this save. We've got some good money in the bank. Whether Mike Ashley will let us spend it or not is another uh, question. There is a new uh, screen that I do quite like, salary commitments. You can actually see uh, on a screen now, um, and you can see how much people's contracts are worth. Uh, so Matt Ritchie's worth the most at the club at the moment, uh, followed by Yoshinori Muto. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll take you through the, the tactic I come up with and stuff, uh, and, and hopefully the first match in just a second. So I know a few of you out there will want to see what the press conferences are like, and they they are a little bit different, to be honest with you. Let's go in. You actually sit in the press room, which is fantastic, for certainly for somebody who's got a press room on their, their intro and all that. But, um, you know, I, <laughs> I quite like it, but the, the questions seem to be the same. Um, we, we will sort of go through it. Um, Sean has a lot of experience... Uh, Oh dear. Um, 
yeah, Sean is fortunate. Um, oh dear, this is awful. I hope uh, I hope that doesn't affect our performance. I got flustered there. Okay, I lied to you. We're not at the match quite yet. But uh, this is sort of a screen that I certainly wanted uh, to bring to your attention. It's a new scouting screen and, and everything's sort of been uh, condensed onto one page. If you remember last year, pretty it was pretty much uh, what's in this little white box up here uh, that was on the scout reports last year. But now we've got uh, star ratings and obviously the scout recommendation. And we've also uh, got these little tabs here. We can see what positions they play in, the attributes, uh, the the scout report, and uh, their medical uh, situation at the moment. So, I think that's a really good feature. I've had a little dabble into the training. I've currently got my assistant sort of working on it, and I'm going to ease myself into it throughout the season. I think that's that's the whole idea. Of this beta save. Um, uh, but th there's certainly a lot of options in there. For example, if I want to change this session here, look how many options there are. There, there is so, so many, and it's going to take quite a while to, to get used to it, but this is the, the sort of thing that I love, sort of zoning in on the, the fine details of the team and, and trying to, to really build a team relationship and get them playing our style of football. But th the focus for the, this first episode, at least, you know, we're, we're going to focus on the match and I, I'm going to let the assistant sort of take lead on this for now. But certainly I'm going to ease myself in, but it would just be stupid to, to try and do all that uh, it, it, for the first game of the season. And yet another feature I want to show you, this uh, training week in review, you can see uh, that the best performers of uh, training for the week, which I think is fantastic, you can see what the training load was, how many injuries you've got in, uh, in training, the average training rating, so everybody's performing above average, which is fantastic, um, and you can see that they're, they're getting more used to the tactic that I've, I've set them, it looks quite a defensive one at the moment. But John Joe Shelby, best trainer of the week, well done. And as if by magic, we've got the official badges in. Just copied them over from FM18. Big tip for you there. If uh, if you you scrolled around looking for official logos, just use the ones that you had from last year. But we're playing Burnley today away from home. Obviously, Burnley had a very good season last year. I think I think they finished seventh. So uh, that that's going to be a tough match. Um, there's no two ways about it. Uh, the tactic that we've went for is basically a 4-5-1. Uh, we've got the defensive midfield in there. We've got the two wingers. Um, and, and we're using the new uh, sort of tactic templates, if you like. So we're going for the, the fluid counter-attack, um, which will hopefully work out quite well. You know, we'll soak up the pressure and then we'll hit them on the break with our... Uh, fairly strong midfield to forward positions. Um, I haven't filled with the, the in transition or the out of possession yet. Uh, we're, we're simply looking at our uh, sort of um, tactic as a whole. I assume these are, are sort of built upon from the, the, the templates. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Nice new tactic screen and I'm certainly looking forward to see how it works in game um, before I've fiddled with it too much. But Dubra uh, Dubravka will start in goal with Yedlin, Lascelles, Fernandez, and Dummett in defence. We've then got Ki Sung Young holding up the play in defensive midfield with Shelby and Diame in the middle, and Richie and Kennedy starting wide of Muto up top. Uh, I have got a goalkeeper on the bench. I was tempted not to, but I've been scarred by that in the past. So, yes, we'll uh, we'll stick with uh, a goalkeeper on the bench, and we'll do a full live com uh, for this first episode, uh, and it will be in 3D. I am hoping uh, to record fully in 3D this year. Let me know down in the comments uh, whether you support that. We might do a half on 2D just to see what it's like this year um, but my plan for the moment is to do 3D so first team talk of FM19 let's tell them there's no pressure on them go out there and enjoy yourselves there you go kick off 3, 2, 1 here we go we're walking out to the middle now oh it's exciting isn't it it is exciting playing a football manager game for the first time uh, and it's a little bit slow at the moment. Let's get that sped up just a, a tiny little bit. Uh, during highlights, between highlights, we can have very fast. We're not worried about that. 
Um, and we'll have... Oh, we'll try the director cam. Why not? We shall try it. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are, are good and... Let me know if you, you plan on getting Football Manager 2019 and who is your save going to be? Richie with the free kick early on and it's in. What a fantastic free kick that was. We got a wonderful view of it from behind the wall. That was absolutely brilliant. And after 22 minutes, we've got our first set-piece goal. The keeper should be doing better there, Tom Heaton. But Matt Ritchie is the one to celebrate and we're 1-0 up within 22 minutes that is fantastic can we do in one game what Newcastle haven't done all season and get a victory who knows Cardiff are also 1-0 up it's looking like a, a day for the underdogs today Chelsea 3-0 up against Arsenal that is uh, is rather worrying we'll put the latest scores on we're playing on a Sunday so there's no other latest scores but half time we're 1-0 up we've only actually seen one highlight so I'm, I'm, I'm actually wondering whether to change uh, the highlights to uh, extended for this second half otherwise you guys just aren't going to get um, uh, any highlights today so let's get this on uh, extended but a really really good start for us and uh you know, a goal from a free kick. Who can complain about that? But uh, here we are on the ball now. Here's Dummett. Now to Diame. Now to Dummett again. Ki Sung Young to Diame. And I, th I think the graphics look a lot better this year. A, a lot more toned down in terms of colour. Um, and they certainly look less like Sabutio players than they did last year. But um, yeah, I, I quite like it at the moment. Let me know. What you think down in the comments section below. Here's Muto on the ball. Gets it wide to Kennedy. Kennedy into the middle. Here's Diame with the shot. And it's a good save from Tom Heaton there in goal for Burnley. Obviously, they've got England's three best goalkeepers, give or take. Apart from Jordan Pickford um, at the club. Actually, Joe Hart probably isn't isn't the best anymore, let's be honest. But Ki Sung Young on the ball. Good tackle by their defender. Here's Yedlin. Ki Sung Young. Yedlin again on this right hand side. Now here's Ki Sung Young. Not sure I like the director camera for full full match. You know, I like it for the replays. But here he is, Diame. Now Amuto with the shot. He makes a save. Take a sip of me Coke Zero to celebrate. I do apologise if I sound awful. I have got the the remnants of a cold at the moment so don't let that put you off he has Muto with the shot but it's blocked and what's good is is we've been uh, sort of stopping Burnley having any shots Ki Sung Young into the middle Diame is there and it's a good save again from Tom Heaton who's kept them in the match it's it's got to be said he has Lawton now Lennon into the middle let's get it away oh disappointing that's really disappointing goalkeeping from Dubravka there. Ben me with the goal. And perhaps it is time for a change. Let's uh, let's explore the camera angles a little bit. Uh, we'll go to TV, I guess. And see what that's like. So let's make a sub. Muto's not had the best of games. We'll put Rondon up there. Probably works well with a, a counter-attacking tactic. Sorry for the weird cut there. I just had a coffin fit. Uh, you can probably tell my eyes are watering and everything. That was that was pretty awful. But Christian Atsu is going to come on as well. Absolutely love Christian Atsu. He was a fantastic player for me on uh, on FIFA a couple of years ago. But uh, 25 minutes to go. We've got two fresh attacking players on. And, uh, you know, oh, he's picked up a knock already. Are you, are you kidding us? Oh, right, let's take him off and put Iose Perez on instead. Uh, actually, no. Sod it. We'll, we'll let Rondon bruise his knee some more. But uh, I'd take a, a, a draw in our first game. Uh, it would be disappointing. We look like we have been the better team. And from what we've seen of the highlights, we've certainly been the better team. We could lose it, though, here. Kisung Young gets it away, though. Now here's Vidra. Vidra on the ball. Gets it forward to Lennon. Lennon into the middle. Barnes is there. Oh, it's over the bar. <laughs> that was close. But, uh, yeah, expect a, a journeyman video out later tonight. I uh, thought we'd get this one out first for, for you guys. So, 
Uh, keep an eye on the channel. He has done it. Can we celebrate my first FM19 match with a win? No. <laughs> Lascelles. Now here, Yedlin. Gets it forward. Here's Matt Ritchie. Maybe that no was premature. Yedlin. Now Ritchie. Key Sun Young. Gets it forward to Yedlin. This is a chance. Yedlin into the middle. It's Rondon. And that was a massive chance. But it's gone over the bar. And they've got another chance now. Brady into the middle. It's away by Shelby. Oh, goodness me. Brady into the middle. Oh, it's away. Lennon now. Vidra. Lennon. Vokes. Oh, it's in. Oh, no. Oh, how heartbreaking is that? Right, we're going to go all out attack now. Route 1. This is, this is what you, you came to see. Shelby can go attack in midfield there. And we can take him off, actually. And we'll put on Ayosa Perez for this final couple of minutes as a shadow striker. Unbelievable. Very attacking. Uh, we'll go... We'll even move the 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 wing backs up. This is exactly what you can expect this season. Anytime we're we're down with a couple of minutes to go, we're gonna throw everybody forward and try and get back into the game. We've got three minutes of added time. I'm gutted. I feel like a, a Burnley have mugged us here. We've had we had some really good chances in the first half, uh, but Heaton, you know, had some good saves, and uh, that that's just the way it's gonna go sometimes. But uh, Volks with the shot there. Disappointing goalkeeping, I have to say. Might have to bring Shea Given back. Uh, but, uh, nah, it's not looking likely, is it? We've got 30 seconds to go. Diame now. Now he has Dummett into the middle. Atsu's there. He has Iose Perez. Dummett. Oh, that's, that's poor. It really is. Volks. On the ball, he has Lennon. Vidra. Westwood gets it forward. Yedlin gets it away. Here's Rondon. Ritchie. Ki Sun Young. Now Diame. Yedlin. Come on. Oh, I thought that was going to be a corner. Is the ref going to blow full time? That's the question. Yedlin's got the throw. Throws it to Ki Sun Young. That's a goal kick. That's surely going to be full time. Oh, pours out of the mis our oh, misery, ref. Heaton can take his time here. Of course he can. Come on, just blow the whistle. Heaton gets it away. It's all over. And we have officially lost our first match in Football Manager 2018. 19. If you've enjoyed that, then make sure you do leave a like down below. It's really important on part ones that you guys share it as much as possible. Leave a like, leave your comments, and make sure you hit that subscribe button for daily... Football Manager 2019 content. Hit the, uh, the notification uh, button as well to make sure you never miss a video. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.